Today we're going to another car show, and normally I wouldn't bother with car shows because that's boring. But this is a all Pontiac car show. Also, I figured we'd go and just ruin it with this. You need that on the inside and outside. I know. I couldn't see anything coming over here because it fogged up. Do I need to use it on the inside? Like literally? It looks. <laughs> Actually, that's way better. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think this is what you normally got to do. I've never used a squeegee on the inside of the window before. Though. This is going to be our longest trip on the highway yet. We've got to make sure we arrive in one piece to ruin their days over there. 60? It's not that bad. Apparently we hit 81 miles an hour back there, actually. That's highway patrol right over there. They don't see nothing. Nothing. Just passing through from Vermont. This is my co-worker Bob's 70. And uh, it's pretty wicked. I'd be interested in all this wheel drive. Four speed, Ram Air. Non-air conditioning car. Yeah, uh, tack in the dash. It's a real judge. I think he noticed if I steal his grills. steering belt on last night that all the bolts had fallen out of it. So apparently that will make all the belts fall off. Put a new alternator on it, help the charging issue maybe. And we're off. Man, it must be nice to have brake lights. <laughs> Pretty cool to have a whole herd of goats yeah, it is. driving. Check the temperature. Yeah, looks good. Back on the highway. I know. <laughs> they got lunch. Boy Scouts are serving lunch. The car is doing pretty good for idling a whole bunch. What is it at? Not bad. Okay, hey guys, we got about 30 minutes. Love you. About 65, 70 mile an hour. I hit 81 at one point. 55, it's not happy. Anything above that, it doesn't shake, so. <laughs> Crazy. 
Hell, I was trying to ruin this car show, but everybody's just too damn friendly. 70 Bonneville, I mean, look at that interior. Mm. It's like a love seat. The backs are really cool on these cars. I love the tail lights. These? Yeah. That's for the horn, supposedly. Uh -huh. So they can make noise. Oh. So you see this? This is a two plus two. See the eight lug wheels? Those are actually the brake drum. The wheel is only around here and it bolts to the brake drum. Huh. Yeah. And it's a two plus two. It sort of has two bucket seats. You know, two sets of buckets. Welcome to Fiero Land. This is the Fiero I want. The fastback, like this. And then I want to put a supercharged 3.8 liter in it. Huh? It's almost a Ferrari. Look at the dash in that thing. It's like driving a couch. That's pretty cool. Looks awfully familiar. Oh man, a Mustang II. That's gotta be the nicest Mustang II Ghia I've ever seen. TR7 Triumph would be neat. This is Punisher LeMond's garage, and he's going to be kicking my ass in Sykeston, Missouri at No Name Nationals, most likely. He's got a LS, no turbo, right? 71 LeMond's? Sure, we'll go with that. Okay, so it's he's lying, <laughs> but that's fine. But he's going to be down there, No Name Nationals, AHRA, you need to check that out. And uh, yeah, we'll see you there, man. Punisher LeMond's garage. Go give him a subscribe, make sure he can be there. Maybe uh, maybe we can take on an LS swap. I don't know. And it's funny, Clyde. <laughs> I think maybe they're grandchildren. <laughs> it's crazy. That'll get as much attention as one with that over there. I am. Uh, <laughs> you need a pass inspection? Well, you see, I'm passing through from Vermont. <laughs> Be cool. Oh, no. Wait, that might have been us. Seven nine five one five. God dang, we won something. I never won anything before. There we go. This, yeah, the story was this one uh, got bought down at an auction down in Texas, and it wasn't even a. It was the only Pontiac at the show. Yeah, please start. We screw up another belt. That's impressive. So it's looking a hell of a lot like rain. Big old storm moving in. This is going to be interesting if we run into that. Transmission still sounds like Apollo 11. Like... 
highway got up around 200. What that probably is, is I don't have an external trans cooler on it, and I bet that stall, the uh, torque converter is probably slipping and it's shearing and creating a lot of heat. It really needs an external trans cooler. Uh, we'll see if we get off, we got off the highway here, so if it kind of drops down, chills out. I'll see it dropping down, getting towards 190 again. As we get off the highway, start doing about 50. Everything's a little happier. <laughs> I think this stopped to look. it for this one uh, if you like what you see here uh, hit that subscribe and the like and the bell and all that good stuff yeah see that that's a problem I was on them a little bit but that is bearings or toast that would be the growling noise we were seeing and feeling I bet this one, yep, same thing. <laughs> we should probably address that before we're Texas.